Welcome back. In this video, we are going to learn about a new tool called Chekhov. So what is Chekhov? So Chekhov is one of the popular open source static code analysis tool for scanning your infrastructure files. So what kind of infrastructure files? So basically Chekhov can scan uh, most of the popular IAC file types. So let's say you are writing your Terraform code but you wanted to identify if your Terraform code is, you know, fully following any compliance. For example, let's say you are creating S3 bucket using Terraform, but you wanted to make sure that your S3 bucket is not exposed to public, right? Or let's say you are creating security group, but you are not opening up to outside world, right? So these kind of things, you know, you can detect using a tool called Chekhov. And similarly, uh, uh, you know, Chekhov also can scan other infrastructure uh, as a code files as well. For example, let's say you are creating your Kubernetes manifest file, but this can scan your Kubernetes manifest file for finding any uh, vulnerabilities issues or security issues and whatnot, uh, similar to Helm chart, similar to ARM files and whatnot. Okay, so in this video, what we are going to do is, we are going to pick up a very simple use case uh, so we will install Chekhov on one of our Ubuntu EC2 instance where I have already installed Terraform and then uh, we will scan our Terraform files using this tool called Chekhov. All right, so let's get started. So how do you install Chekhov? So you need to first install pip which is nothing but as a package manager for Python because Chekhov is purely based on Python. Okay, so you need to install pip and then once you install pip Using pip, we are going to install Chekhov, and then we are going to, uh, you know, navigate to our, uh, you know, Terraform directory, okay, and then we are going to start scanning, uh, you know, our Terraform files using Chekhov, and then we will identify if there are any security issues and whatnot, and then and then we will see, right, you know, how we can resolve and whatnot, okay. So it's a very simple use case that is exactly what we are trying to achieve over here. All right, so let's get started here. So this is my website, uh, folks, you know, coachdevops.com. So I will be posting the link right below the video as well. All right. So let's quickly see. So basically, uh, this is my EC2 instance. And you can clearly see here, I have already installed Terraform in it. And then I also have my Terraform, you know, directory here as well. Okay. So I have created some Terraform files and whatnot. So what we are going to do is, uh, we will quickly install Chekhov and then we will start scanning our Terraform files for finding vulnerability issues. Okay, so how do you install Chekhov? So I do have a good documentation over here. It's not that difficult. So you can see here, right? So like I said, we are going to use pip. That is a recommended approach. Okay, so how do you install pip? It's pretty straightforward. Um, so yes, this is my Ubuntu EC2 instance. So let's start, let's start with the update. And then we are going to start install pip. So this is how we are going to install pip. So whenever you provision EC2 instance, yes, it might have Python install, Python 3 install, but not necessarily pip in, in AWS cloud. Okay, so you have to install pip separately. So I'm going to go ahead with all the default options over here. Perfect. And then you can quickly see if pip3 is installed. There you go. This confirms that pip3 has been installed. Wonderful. And then I'm going to go ahead and then install uh, Chekhov using a pip3. Let's put sudo as well. So you can see right now, uh, Chekhov is being installed. Wonderful. So Chekhov should be installed. Let's quickly verify that. Let me clear the screen. Awesome. So this confirms that Chekhov has been installed. Wonderful. So now let's start scanning our Terraform files. Okay, but before that, um, let's say if you're dealing with any kind of, uh, you know, IAC files, right? Let's say you are creating Helm chart or Kubernetes manifest. So how do you typically uh, scan them, right? So if you see here, let's say if you wanted to scan your, uh, you know, Kubernetes manifest file, so this is how you're going to do it, right? So you can say Chekhov, and then you can provide the path of your Kubernetes directory and then you can mention what is the type, 
okay so and if you wanted to individually scan your uh, kubernetes manifest file you can also do that as well uh, if you are running into terraform files uh, yeah if you want to scan individual file you can pass the flag right minus f and then pass the file name or you can scan your entire terraform directory like this okay and then if you wanted to write uh, the output into some kind of a file you can also use the output flag as well okay it's pretty uh, straightforward so let's quickly you know scan our terraform files so i'm going to uh, you know navigate right i'm already here so this is the directory where i have already you know created terraform files and whatnot right so how do you think i'm going to scan my uh, you know terraform files all you have to do is just say check out and then minus d okay so and then you can say dot so the dot means the current directory right so basically you are saying that you wanted to scan all the terraform files in the current directory so you need to navigate to your terraform files right and then enter wow so can you all see here so if you see here it clearly says that you know it is obviously reading through your terraform files and then it kind of tells you what kind of error you have right for example look at this one okay so this one i'm actually creating a s3 bucket but it clearly says that you know ensure that s3 bucket has public access block obviously right because you don't want anyone to access your s3 bucket right you need to block that so that's what this says okay and similarly uh, if you look at uh, you know some of the you know our other files okay for example let's see there you go. So look at this particular file where I'm, I'm creating EC2 instance with, with look at the cider block, right? Um, so pretty much, uh, yeah, pretty much, look at here, everything is kind of open. So that's kind of uh, scary, scary, right? So, so that's what it says, right? So it says that, you know, those needs to be, uh, you, you should not have like that, right? Okay. Yeah. So yeah. So that is how, guys. You know, that is how you can scan your Terraform files. Uh, you know, using a tool called Checkout. And then, if you wanted to, you know, learn more about any of this issue, you can also click on this guide. Let me see if I can take you guys there. There you go. So you all can see here, right? So if you wanted to learn about that particular issue, you can simply copy the URL, and then you know you can you can actually go to that website and then see it. Let me open one more issue as well there you, are, you see here look at that right so yeah so this is how guys you know this is how you can scan your terraform files using a tool called checkout thank you for watching this video